was headed home and on a gravel road uh, out in the country and it was a blind unmarked intersection of tall corn and we collided and uh, didn't see each other. It just went black basically when I when it hit. Just, I never saw it. The pelvis that was detached I guess and, and twisted and the collapsed lung so I got a big scar here where they did the lung, worked on my lung. They took my spleen, six broken ribs, some broken uh, cracked vertebrae in my back. The worst thing that we had was the lacerated kidney. Tana, my wife, and the kids were in Kearney and, and they knew then, she said, that we need to go to Omaha. We need to go UNMC. And so I was hel uh, by helicopter fl flown out about five hours later. People that just were so outstanding to her uh, as well. She knew, she knew I was getting the care, but I was asleep a lot. So, uh, but she was just, she, she just talks and talks about how great the people were here. They were all so kind and everyone was, you know, just treated me so well and, and uh, uh, I knew I was getting good care. Everybody had a department and, and they all worked together and well we're going to talk to them and then bring this expert in and, and well we're going to talk to them we'll, and they worked it out and, and they worked together as a team so well that I can't imagine being better than this. I just, this has been fabulous. He came in um, pretty sick from a pretty significant liver injury. The liver had essentially split, as solid organs will do. He also had chest wall injury, so a number of broken ribs with bleeding um, that occurs were his two, two biggest ones, but that amount of bleeding had caused him to have low blood pressure and, and essentially not, not looking so good. He uh, broke both the front and back of his pelvis to where essentially the right side of his pelvis was torn away from the bottom of his spine and his left side of his pelvis. By virtue of us being a level one trauma center, we see this injury not uncommonly. It's not a very common injury to have, we just see the most of them around the region. For Brad's case, he started out in the ICU given the severity of his injury. Um, had a number of surgeries by our team. We did an operation that involved an incision in the front of his pelvis where we lined the bone back up and put plates and screws in. And then in the back of the pelvis, we're able to make a relatively small incision and put essentially a bolt in the back of his pelvis to reconnect his pelvis in the back. Part of why I love trauma is, is interacting not only with the patient at, like, at a time of their greatest need, um, but then also to interact with the families um, and helping them through this process. We've been looking so forward to this visit because it's just we want to thank so many people because they were just great to us. We wanted to show them what they've done or, or, and what we've done together, you know, as a family, as a patient, and as doctors and nurses and staff, what, how good a job they put me back together and, and, the, and uh, the care that I got and the things that healed. And, and uh, I'm, I'm just excited because I'm, I'm just about 100%. Everybody was so, so good from lab techs to you know, x ray to, to ultrasound people to you know, just anybody the, the techs, the nurses. And, you know, I come into contact with so many people and it was, they were just fabulous. He's done all the hard work himself going to physical therapy and rehabbing, but yeah, he's had a spectacular outcome and we couldn't be happier for him. We know in the back of our mind it's good and that we save lives and that we bring people, you know, from a devastating situation back to one that's livable. Um, but to see it live and to be able to hear their perspective, I think it's the, the reason why we do what we do and so it's neat to see it.